Welcome to Going Carnivore in Thailand. Let me. This is a nice, look at that, all that nice fat. These are leftovers from what I didn't eat last night. And uh, sort of tilting this because if I take my face out of the camera, then it will focus on. Now, I was just sitting here getting ready to eat this steak, and I said, well, let me do a quick little video. Noi is back behind me. Still struggling with the hypoglycemic incidents. And evidently, some of her self-help friends have told her that Right now, she should try to eat a little durian. Durian is a fruit that is famous over here in Thailand. Very expensive fruit, to tell you the truth about it. And the big thing is, nobody likes the way it smells. Now, it does have a different taste, and it's not a bad taste. But you go all over Thailand, you see signs like, in hotels that say 2,000 baht fine, which is like $60, uh, $55, something like that. 2,000 baht fine if you bring durian into this hotel. That's all over the place because it, it smells. But Noi's over there eating it right now because somebody told her they should eat a little bit, so she's eating a very small amount of it. I'm afraid this hypoglycemic has thrown her carnivore diet into the trash can. I mean, she's eating carnivore, but then she has to eat carbohydrates or fruits so she doesn't crash. I mean, last night she hit 45, and she looked like death warmed over at 45. So anyway... That's the update for the day. We're in the middle of rainy season here. It rained all morning, so I went out to the pool in the afternoon to get my stretches and exercise in. Other than that, go carnivore. Thanks for watching. That's all, folks.